Exocrine gland cells of the pancreas are specialized to secrete large quantities of digestive enzymes. These cells will have all the organelles you would expect to see in an animal cell, but will also have many more ribosomes and rough endoplasmic reticulum in order to synthesize proteins such as those digestive enzymes, for example, pancreatic amylase or pancreatic lipase. These cells will also have many mitochondria, and this is because the mitochondria are the site of respiration. Respiration produces the ATP that is required for processes such as protein synthesis. In these exocrine glands of the pancreas, you may also observe some specialized storage organelles called zymogen granules that you can see labeled here. They allow for the sorting, packaging and secretion of the digestive enzymes produced by the pancreas. When looking at an electron micrograph, try to identify these organelles that you would find in the exocrine gland cells of the pancreas. On this electron micrograph, can you see the rough endoplasmic reticulum with its associated ribosomes, the mitochondrion and the zymogen granule? Palisade mesophyll cells are palisade cells that are found in the mesophyll layer within the leaf, right below the upper epidermis and cuticle. You can see them labelled here. Most significantly, these cells can be identified by the large number of chloroplasts they contain, and this is because chloroplasts are the site of photosynthesis. The position of these palisade cells in the upper mesophyll layer and the large number of chloroplasts that they contain allow them to maximise light absorption in order to achieve the maximum rate of photosynthesis possible. Identification of chloroplasts as one of the organelles present specifically allows you to identify this cell as a plant cell. Plant cells also have a cell wall and a large vacuole, but animal cells have none of these three organelles. The cell wall provides structural support for the cell, while the large vacuole stores water and dissolves substances.